Hey everyone, it's Paramedic Coach, and I want to release something powerful right now, today, tonight, uh, for my EMS brother and sisters. Introducing Med Math Secrets. This is a document, a PDF that is finally going to solve all the confusion, all the frustration that has to do with Med Math. This is a step-by-step, -step, what do we baby step? Just follow the steps guide for you to actually conquer med math and finally get through it, okay? Now, why have I created this? I created this document, this PDF, for one reason and one reason only. It's because of the community members like yourself that are watching this video, I've gotten message after message after message. Evan, how do I do the dopamine clock? Evan, how do I do the IV drip calculations? Evan, how do I find the order of dose? How do I do all these things? And where can you send me? Is it in your course? Where is it? Where can I learn more about this? Well, you know what? I didn't really have a good answer, to be honest with you. I really didn't until I created this MedMath Secrets. Because here's the deal. Maybe, maybe right now you're scouring the internet, trying to find out about MedMath. Or maybe you're also trying to look on other resources like books, trying to figure it out. You're reading through books. You don't get it. You're scouring online. You get one piece here, but you still the other piece over there. Now, the first section is called the order dose. So that's about finding the ordered dose for the patient. Number two is trying to find the units per kilogram, okay? I'm gonna go through all of them and explain a little more, okay? Number three is the amount of the solute. Number four is finding the concentration of a solution, very key, okay? Number five is calculating an IV drip. Number six, the dopamine clock. Number seven, calculating an IV drip based on the patient's weight, so, so, so important. And eight is the milliliters per hour to drops per minute. How do we convert that? How do we change that? Now look, if you're asking the following questions, does this cover all the med math for paramedic school? Yes. Does this cover any med math I might do in advanced EMT school? Yes. This is literally your go-to, all-in-one, one-stop shop for everything med math. I've worked my butt off to make it easy for you. All you gotta do is click the link down below and get access to MedMath Secrets. This sells for seven dollars, seven bucks. Tell me the last thing that you bought for seven dollars. Well, here's the deal. The textbooks that you have inside of your program right now cost hundreds of, hundreds of dollars. Your program costs thousands of dollars. My friend, I can get you to understand MedMath at a simple level and get your confidence back with MedMath maybe even get you through a test for seven bucks. Click the link down below, you know how I do. I have worked my butt off so that you could go the easy route. Take the easy road, click the link down below, dive into it, and my friends, thank you for all the kind words. Um, thank you for all the likes, comments, shares, supports of what I do. Um, this is only the beginning. So get access down below, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. I want to help decrease failure rates for NREMT, for EMT school, for paramedic school. Watch these videos, watch this content, and believe me, you will start to understand EMS medicine. Anybody out there that wants to serve their community as an EMT or a paramedic should be able to do that, and I'm here as a paramedic coach to help you achieve that.